welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. Right, we're going to push that energetic intro off to the side just for now because I want to say I hope all of you, wherever you are, are okay. Obviously the world is in a bit of a crisis at the moment, hence this video about working from home. So I just want to say I hope everybody is okay. Now two things you need to know about me. One is I love tech and two is that I do work from home even when the world is okay. And I've got some tips that I would like to share with you guys. So yeah, let's do this. And also thanks to Piggy for sponsoring this video video. Now, it was Mother's Day a couple days ago. I didn't go and see my mum just because I'm trying to stop the spread of this thing, hopefully like everybody else is at home. However, she asked me if I was to go and see her to bring her a second computer monitor. She already has one, but it's useful to have two computer monitors if you've got two spreadsheets open. So I'm gonna show you guys how to connect your laptops to your TV. Now, I do appreciate some of these tips are gonna be a little bit vanilla to some of you, but you've gotta remember that we're talking to a large audience here. So essentially, getting a picture onto the TV, you need to connect a laptop to the TV. Now, that is primarily done with an HDMI cable. Now, first problem, Alex, I don't have an HDMI cable lying around, meh. Well, you probably do. There's probably one connected from your TV to your set-top box, for example. So just go fishing around. It kind of looks a little bit like this. And then essentially, this is one of our laptops, the Acer Predator. We've done a review of this on the channel. Great laptop and it has an HDMI port on the side of it. So down here we've got my 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now as you guys can see, headphone jack, two USB-C ports, that is it on this laptop. No more connectivity options. But introduce this dongle, links in the description, you plug that in and then it gives you HDMI. Simple, plug it in and you're off to the races. Right, so there's two reasons as to why you'd want to plug in your computer into the television. Number one would be to, well, have two screens, so you can actually have one web page open and another web page open, both on the laptop or computer and on the TV. Or if you've just got like a 13 inch laptop or even smaller and you want a bigger screen, well, there you go. But I can hear you guys in the comments already. Alex, you can't sit too close to your TV screen because it'll hurt your eyes. Don't worry, I hear you. This is the K400 Plus from Logitech. It's a super, super inexpensive plastic keyboard that also has a trackpad built into it. And then you plug this into your laptop so it can communicate wirelessly and then you can sit back on your sofa and enjoy working from home. So like I mentioned at the start, Piggy have sponsored this video, essentially turning it from a top five into a top six. So let me tell you guys about Piggy. Essentially, Piggy is a free to download Chrome extension that when you're not working and you should be taking breaks, doing a little bit of online shopping here and there, will find you the best possible prices for the items that you want. Essentially, who doesn't want the best price? Now that is just what Piggy is going to do on Amazon. So what is it going to do on other websites that you like to shop on? Well, what it's going to do is it's going to automatically find you the best deals, vouchers and discount codes and apply them to your items on checkout. Now this is currently working on over 6,000 websites at the moment and that is growing. And Piggy are even saying that people save an average of £18 or $24 just by having it installed and applying vouchers and discount codes at checkout. But the way I use Piggy is actually through Amazon. It integrates directly with it, so when you are on an Amazon page, it will tell you right there and then if this is the best price for the item that you're trying to buy. It's honestly really, really cool, and we'll put those links down there in the description for you guys, or go to joinpiggy.com forward slash techflow. Okay, that's number two, on to number three of six. I've had thousands of calls over the last, uh, I don't know, week or something. If you didn't know, I actually sell internet as well as doing this YouTube thing. So I've had thousands of calls, people saying, Alex, I need to get online. I can't get online. I don't have good enough internet. My internet's not fast enough. I need to work from home. And yes, some of you guys might be online, but it might be worth just giving your grandma or granddad or your mum and dad a ring just to make sure their internet is working okay. Because now everybody is sort of homebound. The internet staying connected is super, super important, not only for work, but people's mental states in their brain. So let's talk about getting connected. So in this one, I'm actually gonna dial it back a little bit and I've got methods over here which I'll show you guys and how you can get connected to the internet if you don't already have internet at home. But let's just say you've got your router at home and you've got internet but your computer isn't online. How do we get these things to communicate? How do we get the computer online? This is an ethernet cable. It's the same on either end. One of them will plug into your router or router. The other one will plug into your computer. You are now online. It is as simple as that. You can get these 
these cables in up to 100 meters, but don't buy one that's any longer than 100 meters because the signal starts to deteriorate. Now, if you don't have an ethernet port on your computer, you're gonna have to pick up a dongle, links in the description. It gives you an ethernet, pipes out a USB to plug into the computer. Now, you might be the type of person that doesn't want a huge cable running around your house even throughout this small epidemic. So what I'll do is I'll drop a Wi-Fi mesh system down in the description too, one that we've actually reviewed on the channel. So if you want to go ahead and get that installed into your house, you can do. But what you're going to do if you don't have any internet altogether and you need to get connected? Well, I've got a couple of devices here. This one is a portable MiFi device. They all pretty much do the same thing. I'll take the back off and show you guys what's going on here. It has a little battery in it. It's powered by micro USB. And I'm not sure if you guys can see there, but there's actually a SIM card. So what this is going to do is convert the data from the SIM card, which would usually go in a phone and give the phone data. It's going to convert that to a Wi-Fi signal, which you can then connect your phone or your laptop or your computer or your smart TV to stream Netflix. You can go ahead and do that. That is a little portable MiFi device. This is something a little bit more permanent you plug it in to the wall and it essentially does the exact same thing in the bottom of it you put a little sim card it's going to connect to the lte or 4g or 3g network it's got some signal bars on the front of it some antennas on the back of it and it's going to give you a wi-fi signal from the 4g internet and it's also got two ethernet ports in the back of it so if you don't have wi-fi on your computer or laptop you can buy one of these plug it in plug in the internet cable and you good to go. So one of the main things that I find really useful just in life anyway is in my travel bag I've got what's called an SSD. Now we're going to sit down and talk about this for a second because it's a big deal. So an SSD, this is one of them. Now they are super super expensive these SSDs so don't fret you can actually build your own one whilst you've got time at home. Uh, yeah we did a video on it so we'll put that in the description if you want to build your own one of these but if you just want to buy one we'll put this one in the description too. Essentially these are great for storing absolutely everything. If you guys are going back and forth from work trying to take big files, large files, video files, photos or even just loads of text documents you just want to have them all in one place put them on an SSD because also, if you notice, these things are super, super small, which means they're super, super rugged. So you can kind of chuck them about and they're absolutely fine. So I'm kind of on conference calls or speaking to people all around the world all the time. And luckily enough for me, I'm 22 and living in my own house, but I completely understand and sympathize with the people that have got to be on these conference calls whilst at home. And they've got three or four kids that are running around screaming because they're at home. And also the dog's barking and the wife is just going mental. And all you want to do is have your conference call. Now these are noise canceling headphones. And you're probably thinking, Alex, how are these going to help me have my conference call? Now, a little bit of background about these. Essentially what they do is they have microphones in them and play back the same frequencies that are around you inside the headphones to cancel them out. That's how they achieve actual noise cancelling. It's why you can't hear the jet engine when you put these on. Now what a lot of people don't know is that they work for calls too and it's all live and happens in real time. So what it's going to do is use the microphones around the headphones to pick up and monitor the ambient noise of your kids screaming and the dog barking. And then it's also gonna pick up your voice and it's gonna cancel out all of the other stuff. So you could literally have a conference call with these on your head in a room of people screaming and the people in the conference call wouldn't hear the people screaming, they'd just hear your voice. It's really, really cool. But these are expensive, 300, 400 pounds for a set of noise cancelling headphones. So I found an app that does it for free and you get 60 minutes each week for free and it does the exact same thing using an algorithm that these do but with your phone's microphone. So I'll put a link to that app down in the description. Hopefully it can help you guys out. Okay, so coming in at number six, it's been super, super difficult to try and get together items because everything is essentially out of stock. So what I've done is scoured the internet for cheap things that I think you guys may need whilst you're all at home. So first off, the Logitech C270 webcam is my favorite and it's cheap. However, it's out of stock because everybody's just buying it. So I found this one right here. I haven't used it myself, but yeah, it's in stock. So if you do need a webcam right now, buy this one, but if you can, wait for the C270 to come back in stock because like I say, look at these reviews, it's just a great camera for £17. 
Now I wanted to include a headset in this. Now please bear in mind this says gaming. This isn't for gaming. The reason I've included this is because it has a microphone on it which works with both PC and Mac. So if you're doing conference calls and you need to get a better quality audio source than the inbuilt microphone that's in your laptop or your tablet, this headset should do it. And it's also connected here by USB, not the 3.5 mil jack thing, which is quite annoying. So that's why I've included this here. Now for those of you that need a better microphone, microphone but don't want to buy a headset or you just don't need a headset all you need is a desktop microphone to work with your PC or Mac this one I've used before I've had it in the office it's $37.99 again it's out of stock but it comes back in in a few days time so hopefully you guys can pick this up however I will drop some alternative microphones that I've used myself down in the description so hopefully if you want to pick one up today you can do and also Amazon um, they have like a 30-day refund policy so if you buy one you could like return it in like 29 days and then you've used it and you haven't had to pay for it but you didn't hear that from me and this right here literally the only one that i've found that's in stock that's under 15 quid it's a usb hub i appreciate now you guys are going to have laptops at home that you're going to need to plug in your ssds into you're going to need to plug them into the tv you're going to need to plug your headsets into them so yeah a usb hub is sort of just a necessity really for everybody one thing i'd like to say here as well is uh, piggy has saved me 2.99 on this which is that's great <laughs> thanks piggy that wasn't planned whatsoever <laughs> But on that note, guys, I'd like to go ahead and end this video now. I really do hope that you have, well, got something from my working from home tech tips. These are the things that, you know, have helped me out in the last couple of years of my life whilst I've been working from home. And also do remember to come outside and get some fresh air in small groups, ideally by yourself. Uh, let's hope we can get through this together because we are all in it together. But for now, guys, my name's been Alex. This has been TechFlow. I hope you're all safe and sound. I'll see you soon. Adios.